it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Welcome to part two of the nine patch square. Today we're going to sew it all together. to make the border strips. The border strips are the ends of the midnight floral and the center of the silver spot. There's two of those. They want you to hand stitch them but I'm going to be using my machine. So I've got the sewing machine ready. I've got my iron heating up. An iron is very important when we make the patches as we need to iron the seams into different directions, either flat on either side or separated in the middle. Today we're going to be ironing the seams on the side. So let's make our border strips. I'm now going to stitch the center strip. I'm now going to trim off all the excess threads and tie them off. Then I'm going to press my seams to the side. On my border strips, I'm going to sew the seams flat and inwards either side. I'm going to do the same with the center piece. I'm going to iron the seams towards the center and flat. The pieces are all pressed. Now they're ready to be pinned together. It's time to sew again. I'm going to be stitching the center piece to one of the edge borders. And now for the other edge border. lines up quite nicely. I'm now giving it a final iron. We may have sewn all the pieces together but my last step is to sew my dotty border on. Like with all of my patches and squares, I'm now going to be measuring out my spotty border that I put on all of my squares. I'm then going to stitch it on. I'm also using my template, 22 centimeters, to measure out the final size. I'm just cutting off tiny little tabs of 
double-sided tape so that my ribbon sits flat and in the right spot when I sew it. Now I'm going to stitch my border on. Okay, so here's my finished nine patch square. It is a bit wonky donkey. It is a little bit dodgy, but the lines and the points do match up. Although it's considered a very simple and basic square to make, I did find the other squares to date a lot easier to make than this one. Maybe the fact that it's not made up of quarters I found a bit tricky. It was made up in three panels instead, but I gave it a go and I tried my best. Thank you for joining me in the craft room and I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.